Hi everyone, let's go ahead and see how you can install Docker in your Ubuntu. We are using here latest version of Ubuntu and we will be also installing here latest version of Docker. Alright, open here a path which is install Ubuntu Docker and in this I'm just gonna say here, okay, select all, what, whatever. So OS requirement is Ubuntu Loner. 23.04 or any of these Ubuntu anyway you can use this to install in any Ubuntu machine you need to come down a little bit more and thereafter these are the process to start the installation of Ubuntu uh, installation of the docker in Ubuntu all right you need to scroll it a little down then you need to check here install using opt directory or repository so in this we need to first set up our repository so what's the process of setting up our repository in this case we will update if there is any package we need to update and thereafter we will upgrade if any package need to be upgraded so i search here terminal then i open here a terminal thereafter i you know paste it here sudo apt get update and then I'm just going to put it here, uh, put it here, a uh, password. This is now going to be sudo apt get update. All right. Everything is updated here. Thereafter, I'm just going to copy this whole thing from here. And then I'm going to open the terminal and then I paste it here. So I get here sudo apt get install CA certificate. So these are the process which you need to follow before installing your Docker in Ubuntu. So this process makes sure that you have up to date softwares in your machine. Thereafter, we need to add here Docker's official GPG keys here. So I'm just going to copy this from here and then I'm going to paste it here. All right. Thereafter, one more thing you need to make sure that. Uh, un okay. Thereafter, I I'm going to put actually, I'm going to uh, give this uh, uh, this URL in my video description, you can uh, you can open this link from the video description itself and then you can follow these instructions. So I'm going to copy this whole thing from here and then I'm going to paste it here. All right. So after pasting, you see there before the curl sign, there is a special character that I need to delete from here. So I basically delete that and then I just run this. Thereafter, I'm going to copy this particular uh, line of code from there and then I paste it here and then I run it. So we have added here GPG keys in our uh, Ubuntu machine. Now we need to just set up our repository. I'm just going to copy this whole thing from here and then I'm going to paste it here. So our repository is now it, it uh, repository setup is done. Let's go ahead, update our package index. So whenever you add GPG keys, thereafter you need to update your index package. Now you can see here, while updating these uh, packages, it try to find out what your additional keys are added there. It will try to update those index so that it can install the latest software here. So we come to here, install Docker engine. Thereafter, I just need to copy this whole thing from here or you can click on here. It will automatically copy this whole thing from there and then I'm going to paste it here. Sudo opt get installed, docker c, docker c e c l i, docker container, docker builder plugin, docker compose plugin. All these things we are going to install in one go. So it may take a while to install this docker. Once this docker is installed, then we would be ready to run the docker with hello world example. So installation of docker is done here. Once this docker is installed, I'm just going to copy this hello world example and then I'm going to paste it here. All right. Then I paste it here. Pseudo docker run hello world. So it's go. It, it's saying that there is no uh, hello world docker uh, builder in your local directory so it's going to download that from the docker repository so in fact it has downloaded from the docker repository hello world latest now thereafter you see it says that hello from docker this message shows that 
your installation appears to be working correctly. To generate this message, we are going to run it once again and thereafter, this time you will see this particular uh, message directly without seeing anything which you can see here. Alright, thereafter, now if you check it here, you just write here a docker, now you are able to see these examples with the docker. Now if I write here the docker and then stats, it says that if there is any docker running in our PC. So this is the first time, so we need to put here a sudo. So with this sudo, seems like there is no docker build is running here. Hello world just ran single time and thereafter that stopped there. Now the question is, why do we need that sudo? So basically we shouldn't be needing that sudo. So to remove that sudo, you need to add your docker in your uh, uh, root user group so for that purpose i'm providing you another link which you can follow to add your docker as the as the root user here so now this docker you need to uh, open this link this link is given in video description you just need to scroll it uh, here thereafter you need to copy sudo group add docker thereafter i'm just gonna paste it here it says that docker group already exists there. Thereafter, I write sudo user mod ag docker user. So this says that add your user to the docker group. Now I'm just gonna paste it here. Now I can see that our docker is added into the user group. Now it says that log out and log back in so that group member is re-evaluated. Now I'm just gonna copy this thing from here so I do not need to actually log out so I just going to paste it here and if you check this now new user group this docker is added in your user group and if I run it here without any sudo command you should be able to see your uh, hello world here all right perfect now you see without any sudo we are able to see it here Otherwise, you can simply run it here, docker stats. Now, I'm going to get all these without any pseudo. So, congratulations, we have successfully installed docker.